Well, first, congratulations to Duke. They deserve to win today. Uh, they had a uh, grittier, uh, more determined approach uh, to uh, finding a way to win. And, and uh, college football, it's find a way to win. And uh, heck goes off to them and uh, Coach Cutcliffe um, finding a way to win today. So congratulations to them. As for our group, um, uh, you know, there's there's not a lot of things to really um, point out other than the obvious three turnovers. Um, all of them impact the game. Uh, sloppy turnovers, uh, kickoff return for a touchdown, uh, and the inability to you know mount anything consistently throughout the game. Um, you know, once you, you 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 feel like you've got something going pretty good, we uh, we tend to um, you know make a mistake and let teams back into the game. So um, I told our guys essentially that uh, we uh, we're going in the wrong direction. Uh, we're not going to continue to go in this direction. We'll uh, we'll have to uh, reevaluate what we're doing. Um, who we're doing it with, and how we're doing it, all, all of those things. Um, so, again, I, I think that uh, they competed, uh, they want to win, um, but we're not doing the things necessary to win games. And it's hard to point them all out to you in a press conference right now, but um, we'll, we'll have to do some... Uh, We'll, we'll have to do a lot more work to get this group to start winning. So, questions? Just a reminder, please ask for the microphone. Brian, you mentioned that uh, you're going to evaluate who you're going to do it with. Uh, do you mean like personnel changes? Oh, yeah, there'll be personnel changes, absolutely, yeah. And what about the defensive coaching leadership, are you still feeling? Actually, that's probably the one area that uh, I feel better about today. Um, we, we, did, we did what I wanted uh, today in terms of coaching. Um, and uh, coaching had nothing to do with the outcome today. Um, I was pleased from that perspective. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we, uh, we put our defense in a bad situation today. Um, and uh, they gave our offense a chance to win, quite frankly. Um, those turnovers were um, deadly. And obviously, the kickoff return for a touchdown just put us in a tough situation. There, there are things that I want to get better at defensively, there's no question. But um, you know, that's, that's the least of my concerns after today. Does the fact that you're one and three coax you to maybe say, let's go with Dante Vaughn at this point, even though maybe he's not cooked all the way yet? Absolutely. And, and not just Dante Vaughn. Yeah, that's what I'm Yeah. yeah. Uh, every position, every position, all 22 of them, um, will be evaluated, each and every position. There is no position uh, that um, is untouchable on this football team. And that that's the quarterback uh, all the way down to maybe the – the long snapper is okay. We're, we're not going to touch him. But everybody else is is vulnerable. Just a comment about, please, the last uh, time that you, last actually couple times you had the ball, what, what you were hoping for and what you saw in those last couple of possessions. Poor execution. Poor, poor, poor execution. We 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 did what we we uh, I like what we called uh, I liked uh, the looks that we had and and we we did a poor job executing and, and now we listen this is not all all on our players we got, we we still have to coach better as well I mean there's a lot that we have to do because we've got some young players that that require really good communication and, and really good coaching too so. I'm a one and three coach. We're all one and three coaches. Um, so we're in the same boat as all of our players. Um, so let's, let's be clear on that. Brian, in addition, right here, in addition to Vaughn, who has to be on the field? Who are guys that have yeah. fire and grit? And we had one guy in the entire football team 
that had emotion and fire. That is Dexter Williams. He's the only one. He's the only one that I saw. One guy. So if you want to play for me moving forward, you better, I don't care what your resume says. I don't care if you were a five-star, if you had 100 tackles or 80 receptions or 30 touchdown passes. You better have some damn fire and energy in you. We lack it. We lack it severely. You talked about sense of urgency. You came out with a sense of urgency. Um, so what, the next step is to continue from that sense of urgency. There's just not a continuation. There's no consistency in it. They're, they're, they, they can't burn for a long time. There's no passion. There's no passion for it. It looks like it's hard to play, like we're pulling teeth. You're playing football for Notre Dame. Looks like it's work. Last I checked, they were getting a scholarship to play this game. There's no fun. There's no enjoyment. There's no energy. We got to look for the guys that want to have fun and play this game with passion and energy, and that's, that's where we got to go. Is there any reason you can put your finger on as to why they would lack that passion? I must be doing a poor job. I, I've got to do a better job of, of finding out what those things are that are – putting our football team in that position, um, you know. Um, but but we got to have more of it. I think you had, you had too many men on the field in the, that one sequence. You had 12 men on the field. You had to call timeout, which is a timeout, obviously, you would have liked to have had at, at the end of the game. Was that just a matter of, I mean, at that point, you're starting to shuffle a lot of defensive players on yeah, the field. Yeah, we're moving too many guys in and out. And, and what happens when you run it in and out of the game you're calling it from the sideline, but it is a responsibility. And this goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. There's only so much you can do. You then have to echo that going into the game. It's a speed package. You're a part of the speed package. You have to echo that going into the game. Poor, poor communication going into the game results in having 12 guys on the field. Anything else, guys? Matt, yep. Yeah, no, we'll get you a mic. Um, well, off topic, what went into, I guess, putting Deshaun, uh, not Sean, Malik Zaire out there uh, in a non-quarterback role, uh, and how long have you been planning for that? Yeah, we've got some plays, but uh, I, that, that's short-lived now, too. After him taking the ball and, and, uh, and not throwing it away after we, we sprint out and move the pocket for the specific reason that if there's any kind of pressure, you can throw the ball away. So um, you won't see that again. And how would you evaluate Deshaun just as a whole today? Uh, below standard. Um, it's not acceptable, his play. Brian, back to me over here. Are you, are, are you saying, I mean, when Bush could play this year, you could, you could press That's that? That's a possibility. That's a definite possibility. Good.